Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, November 30th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Wow, November 30th already, man. I'll tell you, this month flew by, and now we're only 31 days away from 2024. And, you know, I got to be honest here. When I was younger, I never thought I'd ever see 2020, much less 2024. Anyhow, we have some news, so let's get into it, shall we? Congratulations to Heather Garris. Heather is the longtime principal at Tracy's Landing Elementary School, and she was just named the recipient of this year's George Arlotto Leadership Award, otherwise known as Principal of the Year, which gives her entree into the Washington Post's Principal of the Year program. The past two winners were also elementary school principals, both hailing from here in Annapolis at Mills Parole and Tyler Heights. So congrats to Heather. Some good news for the Bay. The Maryland DNR, along with the Old Dominion University, say that the oxygen levels in the Bay are the best they have been since they began monitoring 39 years ago. More oxygen means more plants and animals can thrive. But it appears that this may be a one-off. Scientists do say that the increased oxygen is due to the below-average volumes of fresh water flowing into the Bay last winter and spring. And with a snowier winter than usual predicted, we might expect to see us slip back again next year. They have shuffled some stores in the Annapolis Town Center. Fleet Feet is out, and they moved across the street to the Home Depot Shopping Center, and I am sure that has a more formal name that I don't know. Scout and Molly's slid a few doors down to gain some more space, and the Town Center announced that Sephora, Girlkin Lashes, the Shade Store, and Tostique will all be opening very soon. And I'll tell you, I'm rather fascinated with Tostique. Google it and check it out. It's a, got a meteoric rise of this company that opened their first location in D.C. at the Wharf in 2019. And it was founded by Brianna Keefe, who graduated from JMU in 2016. Podcast stuff. Up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight, we had a wonderful discussion with Sally Boyette, who is the founder of the Classic Theater of Maryland, who has a very busy December. And I'll tell you, in closing, one of the best ways to keep up on the local news is the Daily News Recap email. That goes out at 7 p.m., 365 days a year to your email inbox. It is free-free. It is paywall-free. And here's a link right here in the show notes for you to sign up if you aren't already. And please do me a favor and let your friends, family, and colleagues all know about it as well. And that is a wrap. As always, thank you for being you and thank you for the sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Scout and Molly's, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. All right, so now you just need to sit back because we have George from DCMDVA Weather with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. And because it's Thursday, Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace is here with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. All that's coming right up, so hang tight. Hi, I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate Scout Molly's, this amazing little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center, and we're here to help. Whether you are shopping for the beautiful ladies on your holiday list or for yourself, we have something stunning for every occasion, from casual to black tie. From the parade of lights to New Year's Eve, we have the perfect outfit for every event this year. Scout Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thank you for shopping local. Advanced illness decisions aren't always easy. Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, wants you to know you do have a choice over who provides care, what type of care, and when and where your loved one receives that care. Learn more at hospicechesapeake.org. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. 
Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, November 30th, last day of November 2023, and we'll go out on a warmer note this afternoon after another cold start this morning, with December looking like it will start off fairly average temperature-wise on the whole for the first week. Look for sunny highs today in the low to mid-50s after we get out of the 20s and 30s this morning, with more 50s expected tomorrow on slightly breezy southerly winds, along with a good chance for some mostly p.m. showers with the weekend expected to bring mid-50s to lower 60s with mostly cloudy skies and a chance of rain both days, though right now it looks like we could possibly get through Saturday with mostly dry but cloudy skies. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of D.C. MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow D.C. MDVA Weather on Facebook and X for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather-informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, it's Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. The first Sunday arts festivals are wrapped up for the year, but that makes way for the Chocolate Binge Festival coming up on Sunday at the Wildberry Farm and Markets out near Gambrels. Be sure to check out their vintage Christmas market with one on Saturday and another one on the following Saturday. An evening market with over 100 local vendors between the two dates at the Well Oak Flower and Herb Farm in Severn. On Saturday, check out their Advent Wreath Workshop. And down at Londontown Gardens in Edgewater, they're having a wreath workshop also on Saturday. At Local by Design, Saturday they have a fused glass Christmas tree votive workshop as well as an ornament scribe custom ornament painting workshop. Then on Wednesday, there's a fused Christmas ornament workshop with Bill Donaldson of Attitude Art Studio at Art Farm in Annapolis. Monday, check out their whimsical wall trophy workshop, making faux taxidermy wall trophies out of recycled materials. And for their kids' art camps, Saturday, there's a kids' art school for ages 6 through 8. Then on Tuesday, their family clay class starts up again. And registration is open for more kids' art camps starting in the coming weeks, including more kids' art schools, digital cartooning, beat making, pencil, charcoal, and watercolor, and caustic art, which is working with wax, as well as more mixed media for introverts. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week, today Broadneck has a Tinker Lab, Odenton has a Paint Night, and Glen Burnie is doing Needles, Hooks, and Yarns. Tomorrow, Discoveries the Library at the Mall has a Pre-K Art Party, and Severn has Sit and Stitch. On Monday, Bush Annapolis has Little Artist, and Odenton has Beginning Crochet. On Tuesday, Eastport Annapolis Neck has a Homeschool STEM Session with a Winter Bird Count, and Mountain Road has Homemade Holiday Cards during the Pasadena Tree Lighting. And then on Wednesday, Edgewater has Skeins and Stitches. Eastport Annapolis Neck is doing Origami Holiday Trees. And then there's an online session with Festive Cookies and Cookie Bars. At Unallocated Space in Severn, tonight is another virtual happy hour. Saturday, check out their Epic Land Party, playing multiplayer games, competitive and co-op, from noon till midnight. Monday is their weekly project night, and Wednesday is their weekly open house. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. Whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Experience the magic of the holiday season at Lights on the Bay, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Bring your family and furry friends to Sandy Point State Park for a two-mile scenic drive featuring more than 60 spectacular displays, including this year's brand new theme, North Pole Adventure. Admission is only $20 per car. Discounts are available through our generous sponsors. All proceeds benefit the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Lights on the Bay, open nightly from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. 
And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.